Hey booktube, it's Thea, and it's about 5 o'clock or so. Um, I am home. I, uh, got, I was, got out at like 2.30, and then um, we had to go grocery shopping, and then I was home. I've been home for a little bit. Just needed to check some email and um, do some job-related things. But I wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I have read about 17 pages or so in Seven Ways We Lie by Redley Redgate. Um, it's still just okay. I um, am home pretty fairly early today, since so I've got so I've got uh, since it's only five o'clock and I have no other plans tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and just spend as much as I of the night as I, as I can reading. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Hope you guys are having a great Buzzwordathon day too. And I will see you guys, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Hey guys, it's Thea. Um, I just wanted to pop in with a quick update. It's like 10.30 or so, so I'm getting ready to head to bed. But I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know. So I ended up reading 31 pages in Seven Ways We Lie, so I'm up to page like 82. Um, I didn't get much reading done when I got home today, just because we ended up taking uh, Roy to the dog park and then ended up watching an episode of Buffy just to kind of relax from the day. It was pretty busy and then, um, we ended up watching Unbreakable because we're going to go see Glass on Friday. And so we want, have been wanting to um, marathon the first two before we go see Glass. So we watched that. That was a lot of fun. It was a rewatch for both of us, but it was a, a lot of fun. It's such a great movie and I'm so excited for Glass. Um, so my total page count for day two is 32 pages, which is which isn't bad. It's not as good as yesterday, but... Um, I think I can get a lot of reading done tomorrow, but I hope everyone had a great day. I hope everyone had a great Tuesday. I hope everyone had a great um, Buzzwordathon day two. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Happy reading, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, Booktube. It's Thea. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Buzzwordathon day three. I am running so late this morning, um, it's already 5.30 and I have to be at work in like 20 minutes or so, um, but I just wanted to pop in and say good morning, happy Wednesday, happy passport to day 3, um, I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done today, we'll see how busy it's going to be, um, I hope everyone has a great day and I will check in with you guys a little later, bye. Hey guys, it's the, uh, it's like four o'clock. Um, I have, I'm home from work. I had a quick little power nap, but I am ready for the night. Um, on my way home today, I ended up listening to 20 pages in Lie to Me, so I'm up to page 58. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. It's still really intriguing. Definitely has Gone Girl vibes, but I am enjoying it. Um, and then I have read like 17 pages in Seven Ways We Lie. Um, still okay. I don't know if I am liking this. Um, I am really enjoying Lied to Me, so I definitely think I can finish this before the readathon is over. But I hope everyone is having a great Wednesday. Happy Buzzwordathon Day 3. And I will see you guys, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Another dawn is dawning.
Six in the morning. The sun's weak light radiated through the windows. Holly rubbed her eyes, stretched, felt a pleasant series of pops down her spine. She'd been up too late, hunched over the computer after trying and failing to sleep. The call ate at her. The hissing voice, the animosity. Someone truly hated Ethan Montclair. She knew the couple better now. There was so much information online about the Montclairs. They were, have been, literary darlings for several years. The death of their child and the subsequent fall from grace had been documented in alarming detail. They made Holly uncomfortable. People did so love a tragedy. She was trying to pin her mind on the something she was missing. The something that wasn't quite right. So it's like 8 o'clock. I just got out of the shower. I wanted to pop in really quickly and let you guys know. I'm listening to the audiobook for Lie to Me by J.T. Ellison through the evening tonight. Um, and I'm really enjoying this. I think I'm going to switch over to the audiobook. I think I'm going to take... So I think I'm going to take a break from Seven Ways We Lie and pick this up physically and um, dive into this for a couple hours. I'm just settling in for the night. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and dive into this for a couple hours. I'm really enjoying it. It's super fast paced, quick read. Uh, the chapters are super short. They're only like two or three pages at the most. Um, so it definitely makes for a quick, fast paced read. And um, I'm really liking the writing style. It is definitely very much inspired by Gone Girl. It definitely has like some of the same little elements throughout the book but I am enjoying it and so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up physically for the next couple hours and I will check in right before bed with my kind of thoughts and an update um, but I will see you guys in a couple hours bye So it's like a little after 10. I'm getting ready to head off to bed because I have to be at work at like 5.45 tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to pop in with kind of a quick update and kind of a wrap up to the end of the vlog. But I am hooked. I don't normally sit down um, for a substantial amount of time in one sitting and binge read. But I think I just read like 100 pages. I am hooked. I am so intrigued. It's so fast paced and so intriguing. I just like flew through 100 pages and um, it's been a long time since I've just sat down and like binge read a lot of uh, like just binge read that many pages in one sitting. I get really really easily distracted when it comes to reading a lot lately since um, it takes a lot for me to be like super intrigued but I... I'm so hooked. I wish I could stay up and finish this because I have like 200 pages left and reasonably if I didn't have to work so early I think I could fly through it but I um, will be in a world of hurt tomorrow if I don't get some sleep and I am off Friday so I definitely I can definitely finish it um, tomorrow night but I'm so happy that I picked it up um, and then I decided to read it for the readathon because I am so intrigued. I cannot wait to see where it's gonna go. Um, getting me out of my slump and definitely getting me excited to read again. So everyone had a great day. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching. Happy reading and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.